Hello everyone, welcome to my channel where I talk about personal finance. I've created this channel to provide information on investing, saving money, managing your money, budgeting, getting out of debt, building wealth, and entrepreneurship. Today I'm going to talk about how to invest into a rough IRA. Before I get into the video, be sure to subscribe and leave a comment below saying I subscribed. I will try to personally reply to your comments. Let's get into the video. The Roth IRA is a newer type of IRA that was introduced in 1997, thanks because of Senator William Roth, hence the name Roth IRA. The tax benefits of the Roth IRA are backloaded, full taxes on your contributions, but tax-free growth and tax-free withdrawals. A Roth IRA is a great way to supplement your 401k or other workplace retirement plan. But if you do not have a retirement plan at work, and lots of people don't, don't a Roth IRA isn't just a nice thing to have, it's, it's, it's essential. Bottom line, if you qualify for a Roth IRA, you need one. IRA stands for Individual Retirement Account. One of the main questions I have been asked by many people when the topic comes up about a Roth IRA is, can I become a millionaire by investing in a Roth IRA? And the answer is yes. The important thing is to start early. The earlier you start investing in a Roth IRA, the greater will be your chances of reaching that million dollar milestone in your retirement age. Therefore, just waiting a year of not investing in the Roth IRA could cost you thousands of dollars in the future. Also, when you contribute to the Roth IRA, you already would have paid taxes into the account because of the rough part of that contribution. For example, if you get a paycheck of $2,000 every two weeks of the month, the chances are taxes would have already been removed from that paycheck before you receive it. Therefore, the money you will receive will be the net pay which happens after the taxes is taken out of your paycheck. So basically, this is the money that's left over after you pay your taxes from your paycheck. Therefore, the money you invest in a rough IRA is just the money you have left over because you have already paid the taxes from it. This is what makes a rough IRA very powerful. The way the rough IRA works is that you are able to open the account and contribute up to 6,000 per year if you are under the age of 50. On the other hand, if you are over the age of 50, you are eligible to contribute up to 7,000 per year. The greatest advantage of doing this is all the money you deposit into the rough IRA can grow totally tax-free, which means you would not be taxed on this money. Therefore, all the profits you made from contributing to this account will be all yours with no tax after the age of 59 and a half. That's another reason you want to start with this account when you are young or even if you are not 19 right now. Just start where you are now. For example, let's say if you are 20 years old and you invested $500 from the age of 20 265 at an average interest rate of 
you will have $1,845,080 at the age of 65, completely tax-free. That's how powerful the rough IRA is. All of this is just by investing $500 per month. Another big advantage of doing this is you can withdraw any contributions you made to the account at any time without getting taxed on it. For example, if you contributed 2,500 originally to your rough array and it grows to 5,000, you can always remove the original 2,500 at any time without getting penalized or paying taxes on that money, even before you reach the age of 59 and a half. That's why opening a IRA is a good thing financially, because if you want to get the money back that you invested into it, you surely can do that. One thing I would say is the best time to open a rough IRA would be now or if you are young solely because you will have compound interest to your advantage. This means your money will have more time to grow and make you more money and more money as time goes by. You will really see and experience the power of compound interest with this account. I want to give another example. Let's say you started investing 500 per month at the age of 18. This time, all the way to 65 at 7% interest rate. You will have $2,125,643,041 in your rough area account. However, if you started at the age of 21 years old and invested the same $500 per month all the way to 65 at a 7% interest rate return, you will have $1,718,310,009 in your rough IRA account. Therefore, Waiting three years before you start investing into the rough area can prevent you from doubling your money into the future and as a result will cost you the ability to build wealth. That's why it's important that you start investing into this account as soon as possible. Another important thing to note about the rough area is that you invest with post-tax money, which means the taxes has already been taken out from whatever money you contribute to the rough area account. This is huge because any tax breaks that's available to us, we always want to make use of it. So when you are young, there is a possibility that you are not earning a huge salary. Therefore, that will most likely put you in a lower tax bracket, which in return means you will have more money left over from your paycheck, which you can use to invest into the rough IRA account. On the other hand, the older you get, there will be a good chance you will be making more money, which in turn means you will be in a higher tax bracket, which will result in you having less money left over from your paycheck to invest in a rough IRA account because of you will be paying much more higher taxes than what you would be paying right now this method is perfect and suitable to individuals under 35 years 
who are not earning a huge income, which means that they are in a lower tax bracket. In so doing, you would want to take advantage of that right away because of the fact that most of your money at this point is not being taxed. Now, the way you can go about setting up the rough area account is by going online to websites like T. Rowe Price, Fidelity, Charles Schwab, and Vanguard. There is a lot more brokerage firms out there you can choose from to set up the rough area account through their websites. I really like Fidelity, T. Rowe Price, and Vanguard but the decision is up to you to make. Also, if you're under the age of 18, you can still be eligible to open a rough area account, but you will need one of your parents to co-sign with you and have some type of earned income. The length of the process of operating the rough area Excuse me, the length of the process of opening the rough array will be around between 15 to 25 minutes. It does not take that long to open the account. This process can be done 100% all online from the investment brokerage firms I mentioned earlier through their websites. So once you have the rough array open, set up, you can now make your investment into the rough array account. Also to note that the rough array by itself is not the investment, but it's the account. For example, you would invest $500 per month into the account, which is the rough array. And within the account, you could invest into stocks, bonds, and so on. Therefore, it is just the account you invest your money into, and everything within the account grows tax-free. Now, based on what you should invest into the account, you could invest into mutual funds, index funds, and so on. Index funds is a good choice because they follow the image of the whole stock market. The stock market have returned on average 7% interest rate over a long period of time annually after taking inflation into account. So earlier you start investing into a rough IRA, the more money you will have in the long run. However, there are guidelines you have to follow when setting up the account. One is the maximum amount of contribution per year into the account is $6,000, which means you cannot invest more than $6,000 per year into the rough array. The second thing is once you withdraw your money, it's out. You cannot turn around and invest this money back. An example of that would be if you withdraw $1,500 from the account, you cannot go back and put the $1,500 you withdraw because remember your maximum contribution per year will be $6,000. The third law is if you remove any of your profits from the account before the age of 59 and a half years old, you will have to pay a 10% penalty on that money plus pay taxes on any profit you make. So therefore, very importantly, you would not want to do that at all. The fourth rule is if you make more than $120,000 per year, your contributions to the rough IRA starts to phase out, which means you cannot contribute to the account as much as if you make less than $120,000 per year. On the other hand, you would want to follow those four guidelines of the rough IRA because the rough area account will be a great account to help you build wealth and become a tax-free millionaire in the future. Finally, I love the uh, rough IRA account, mainly because your money will be growing tax-free 
in the future while you are building wealth and it's a good account to open if you're thinking of building wealth for yourself and your family. Thanks for watching this video and do not forget to subscribe to my channel.